previously on Big Brother. The four evicted house guests competed for a chance to come back into the game, and Paul was victorious. We celebrated birthdays, double birthdays. At the HOH competition, it was a close one, but Helen was victorious and won her second HOH. What will she spin on the Wheel of Mayhem? And who will she put up on the block? Find out now on Big Brother. Hi friends, welcome back to my Sims 4 Big Brother Challenge. I hope you're all doing well. We are on episode 14. Wow. And we are going to start how we always do with the Wheel of Mayhem ceremony. Helen won the HOH, so one of her duties this week is she has to spin the wheel to find out what the twist of the week is going to bring. Let's get that wheel brought up, Brittany. There it is. Why? <laughs> Pandora's box uh, is what that green thing is supposed to say, but I don't know if that's how that reads anymore. That's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay. Snap out of it. This is serious time. Helen has three options. Pandora's box, which I have not disclosed what that twist is, but I will if she lands on it. The MVP, which will grant someone the special power to put up a third nominee. And the extra vote, which gives someone an extra vote come eviction night. I have looked at the polls. It's pretty close uh, for one of them. The other one won by a landslide. So you must clearly like this one player. But anyway, let's, let's spin. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, okay. Yay, we finally get to use a special power. Helen, you have spun the MVP slot, which I will let that person know soon who who the audience has voted for, which is so cool. <laughs> uh, and then at the nomination ceremony, when you put up your nominees, they will also get an opportunity to put a third one up. All right, house guests. With that, the Wheel of Mayhem ceremony is adjourned. Let's see what happens. I'm so excited, except, okay, wait. It's Brittany and Donnie's birthday today. We need to, is this cake still good? We're gonna celebrate Brittany and Donnie's birthday quickly. <laughs> Make a wish. No, it's not, it's not Jesse's birthday, it's Brittany. Oh, Brittany, what? <laughs> I think I messed up because they all, because Jesse, okay. Okay, now we're cheering for Brittany. Ooh, Jesse and Will. Come on, Britt, blow it out. Oh, Donnie. <laughs> Rachel, a little late. Yay! All right, okay, Donnie, your turn. It's so weird. How they're like, Don Jesse, get out of him! Yay! Birthdays. Why is Paul thinking about Rachel? Yay! Oh! <laughs> Donnie, you gotta blow it out. Oh, 
Yay, Donnie. I am so excited that we finally get a, to use one of the, the special powers that you have been voting for for like almost a, like over a month now? How long has this been going on? Yeah, like over a month. That's crazy that we finally get one. So I'm so excited to tell you who it is. Ooh, but I'll wait. I'll wait a little bit longer just to keep you here. Tomorrow we have four birthdays. The next day we have two. My goodness. So Helen won her second HOH. I like that it's it 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 flipped to the like it's not like the big alliance like certain seasons of Big Brother where it's the only alliance that wins. It's kind of cool. Now the ladies have control. Ooh, what's going to happen? I I do think that Helen is playing a good game though. I think she's she's under the radar, which is important, but she's also like she's like the ringleader in informing that alliance between the girls right now. And though Brittany kind of chose Dan's side over hers, like they still have a pretty a, a pretty like like Helen's got her her fingers in her. That's gross. <laughs> Helen's got like a like she's still in Brittany's head, so I, I don't know who she'll put up. I assume she's going to target someone like maybe Will or or like Jesse. I don't know. There's a huge casual discussion happening between a bunch of people. I can safely say that uh, Paul will not be going up on the block. But Paul seems to be doing like a pretty, like, like they are really, they're getting involved. They're not being an outsider. Everyone's just really happy. Birthdays. So at the end of this day, we will do the nomination ceremony and then the MVP gets put up a third nominee. Yes. But just reminding you, only one person will still be leaving at the end of this week. They're all just being really pleasant right now. Oh, it's like Janelle added some negativity to the group. I feel bad. That's not fair to Janelle. She was just, she was just eccentric. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I say that every time. Uh oh. They're all becoming friends. Oh, Rennie. She's still a lone wolf. Like she doesn't, she's not a part of an alliance yet. Could you imagine if Rennie had won HOH? She would have had to make some moves in this game. Why don't I trust you? Why don't I trust you? Okay. Okay. I'm watching you, smiley. This is just so pleasant. Maybe Helen's gonna put up Dan and Will. Maybe she knows that they have have a pretty tight relationship. I don't know. Maybe she'll put up Jen. <laughs> she'll never put up Jen. Why are you playing? Why? <laughs> Why are you playing by yourself? Oh, Jesse and Helen had a deep convers or deep connection. That's kind of nice. How are you doing? You happy to be back? I'm glad you have a friend. Jesse working on that HOH. Same with Britt. It's what you gotta do. Ooh, Rennie is mad. You feel better? Do ya? <gasps> oh, come on. Come on, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. 
Ugh. Sorry. I just don't trust you. Oh no. You're sad, drunk. Paul and Jen have been like socializing quite a bit. All right. Do you want me? Do you want me to disclose the information that I've been holding about who our MVP is going to be? Oh, they're just wait. They're just having a really deep conversation. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> anyway, this is who has won. MVP, and we'll get to decide the third nominee. It is Miss Genuine herself, Jen. Overwhelmingly, it was Jen. Uh, there were the second and third highest were actually Vanessa and Janelle, so they wouldn't have even, they, they didn't obviously beat Jen. Uh, but yeah, Jen gets to decide who the third, who the third nominee is going to be, which I mean, just, it works even more so in Helen's favor because you know that she's like, Jen's going to put up someone that is going to benefit this alliance here. So yeah, Jen gets to put up a third nominee. Why did Jen like totally just have like this weird thing against someone like Rennie. But these two hold like the most power in the game. It's pretty exciting. If you're rooting for them. If you're not, then uh oh. Hope your favorite doesn't go home. Are they all in here right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Dinner time. <laughs> I mean I get it. Do you think Will? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think Will is nervous? I think Will's maybe a little bit nervous. Thanks for the mac and cheese, Jesse. Then go to the bathroom. I feel like I need to constantly be checking these toilets. I don't trust certain house guests. Oh God, Rachel. <laughs> I know I said I'd give them to the end of the night, but I'm I'm gonna do it in the morning. I'll do nominations in the morning. Why are you? What is wrong? Stop drinking. Stop it. We're worried about you. <laughs> I was not expecting Helen to be in there. <laughs> oh, they're gonna hug. Are you? No. I'll leave you two alone. Okay, I guess when like they all wake up, we'll do nominations. That was easy. Here we are at the nomination ceremony. Helen, as one of your duties of HOH, you have to put up two nominees for eviction this week. Since you spun the MVP twist of the week, the MVP will then stand up and put up their nominee. So Helen, please place your first nominee. Will, Helen has put you up on the block because you showed yourself to be a huge threat last week by winning HOH and Veto, and she knows that you are starting to make really good relationships in this game and sees that as a huge threat, so you, you need to leave. Helen, please put up your second nominee. Dan, Helen has noticed that you and Will especially are starting to get very close in this game, and with one of you gone, it'll benefit her game. So she's sorry that she has to put you up, but 
it, it's a game. You both have won this game previously and it's time for one of you two to leave. So thank you, Helen. Now you can have a seat and our MVP will come up and place their nomination. Jen was voted by the audience to give the special power of the MVP. So with great power comes great responsibility. Jen, please place your one nomination up. Donnie, why Jen has put you up is the same reason the other two are put up. You have a tight bond with both of these nominees and you are put up there hopefully as a pawn so that either Dan or Will will hopefully not win the veto and then they will, one of them will go home. And with that, that is the end of our nomination ceremony. And that is the end of this episode. Wow, I... I kind of suspected the Will and Dan thing just because they are huge. They are making very good relationships in this game. Donnie was a little bit of a surprise. I thought it was going to be more of like a powerhouse, like someone like Jesse. Uh, could you imagine if it was Rachel? All three winners. <laughs> but Rachel's in their alliance. So yeah, I, I'm so curious to see how Vito is going to play out and how the eviction is going to go with three nominees. Ooh. If you like what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps uh, me out as a new channel. And comment below, who are you rooting for? Who do you want to win Vito? Uh, and who are you hoping is safe? I, I have no idea, but we'll see. Vito could change literally anything. Everything? Anything? Whatever. <laughs> the next episode will be out on Friday. I release Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so it's going to be a good one, I think. Thank you for sticking around. You're all so great, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, friends. Take a baby.